Greetings, unsettled souls! <laughs> you know what that means. The dumpty of the day. <laughs> Who else could it be that would get the dumpty of the day uh, during an Afghanistan withdrawal that goes to hell? Biden! Trump shreds Biden for prioritizing Afghans over American citizens amid the Kamal evacuation. That's not the most frightening part. That, that in and of itself would be enough to get most people a dumb deal of the day. But Joe Biden is so unbelievably stupid that for him to get it, he really has to surpass himself or he would be the winner every day. Uh, you'll, I'll explain why in a minute. You'll see what, what the true horror of this is. Hit share, hit subscribe. You're going to want to get this out. Former President Trump blasted Joe Biden's bungled handling of the Afghan withdrawal, particularly his move to evacuate more Afghan citizens, civilians, than stranded Americans and import them into the U.S. Biden surrendered Afghanistan to terrorists and left thousands of Americans for dead by pulling out the military before the citizens. Notice he didn't say by pulling out done. By pulling out before the citizens. We needed to leave. That's that's a, that, that's a correct view. Uh, Tuesday, he said, now we are learning that there are, that out of 26,000 people who have been evacuated, only 4,000 are Americans. Let me repeat that because I, you, I'm sure many of you, what did he just say? You're like vacuuming or like, you know, d doing the, the mega death or something. You missed it. Now we are learning that out of 26,000 people who have been evacuated, only 4,000 are Americans. Why well, didn't you wonder? I was wondering. If nobody can get to the airport, how did we get 26,000 people out? Well, because the Afghanis were going. And they, they, they tend to blend in a little more than, you know, gringo. Um, you can be sure the Taliban, Trump said, who are now in complete control, didn't allow the best and the brightest to board these evacuation flights. Here it comes. Here it comes. The dumb of the day, Mr. Biden. Instead, Trump said, we can only imagine how many thousands of terrorists have been airlifted out of Afghanistan and into neighborhoods around the world. What a terrible failure. No vetting. How many terrorists will Joe Biden, Joe Biden bring to America? We don't know, he concluded. This comes amid reports that the U.S. Department of Homeland Security and State Department are admitting unvetted Afghan refugees. Now, again, I, I was actually praising the lefty loon uh, Pearl Jam's singer, uh, Eddie Vedder, when he was saying that we needed to get our troops out of there and that we needed to stand up for the Afghanis who have done so much for us. And I, I'm absolutely in favor of that. But we haven't vetted them to make sure that that's even who they are. 26,000 people have been taken out of Afghanistan. How many of them were terrorists? How many of the Coptic Christians and other, other Christians there are being butchered and offering <clears throat> being offered <clears throat> no escape whatsoever? While terrorists could be on these flights going God only knows where. And let, 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 let me sweeten the pot here on Biden's stupidity for you. We know that he was illegally dropping illegal immigrants from Mexico and other nations south of the border. And God only knows where else once they got to South America and broke into the country. He's been peppering them all over the country. You don't think the same thing is going to happen with Afghans that need to be relocated? And it's going to be sold to you. They like to do this. They like to say that if you don't stand up for Zionists, then you don't stand up for Jews. They like to say that if you don't stand up for Black Lives Matter, then you don't stand up for Black Lives. They have nothing in common, but they like to, 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 to blend the two so that they can pull off their nefarious means more easily. Listen, friends. There is a vast difference between the Afghans who helped us, and the Afghans who are not vetted. And when they say that we need to help those coming over, they're going to sell that to you as we're only doing the right thing by those who did the right thing by us. Don't let that be the case. If you don't know that they've been vetted, there's a real good chance that you're getting crap 
pushed right down your throat. And you think you're doing the right thing. And you think you're doing the moral thing. And you're saying, yeah, these people deserve to be here because they helped us. No, 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 no. They're going to blur that line, friends. They are going to blur that line. And they are going, let me reiterate this. They are going to say that these we got these people from Afghanistan. Now we need to make sure that they're protected. We need to make sure that they're okay. Because they helped us. And a lot of them will not, I repeat, will not be the people that helped us. They will be the people that want to blow us to hell. Good night, friends. God bless.